Welcome back to The Knife Life, everybody. Today, we are going to be talking about pocket cleaver knives, and if you should get one. Pocket cleaver knives suddenly exploded out onto the market around 2019 and became somewhat of a fad in the knife world. So, unfortunately, this video is about two years too late. However, you will still find cleaver style folding blades all over the place. Check out one of the big online knife outlets and you will probably see one of them on their main page. But what many people need to know about them is what they are good for and if they should get one. So without further ado, let's get into it. Cleavers claim to fame are that they are choppers. These big, heavy, sturdy implements of the kitchen are purpose-built in order to hack through bone, gristle, tough vegetables, and so on. For most of those who have spent any serious amount of time in a kitchen, you've probably almost taken off a finger at least once. A couple of you have taken your finger off with the cleaver. A cleaver is no choke. Mainly because I'm not cleaver enough to come up with one. A lot of people who champion the pocket cleaver design claim that they are suitable for the same work. So in the interest of research, and definitely not because I wanted an excuse to buy another knife, I decided to pick up one of these knives for myself. Introducing the Civi Mini Bowl Mastiff. I splurged and went for one of the more expensive versions of this knife, but they have multiple versions of this exact model. After playing with this, I could tell pretty much immediately that this folding cleaver wouldn't function like its namesake for a number of reasons. First off, this is a very lightweight blade. If I was going to try to cram a hacking blade into a folding knife sized package, I would have used a much heftier blade. At a quick glance, I'd say that at most the blade thickness is an eighth of an inch. There are full size cleavers with a one eighth inch blade, but there's also a lot more blade present in that cleaver and therefore a lot more mass. In order to compensate for the smaller profile that you have in this knife, I would have expected them to thicken the blade and give it a little bit more oomph on impact. Civi has actually done the opposite. They incorporated fullers into the blade, which are meant to actually lighten the blade. Now, of course, this is only one knife I'm working with at the moment. I unfortunately don't have enough money in order to go and buy and play with every single folding pocket cleaver out there. But after looking at some of the other folding cleavers and doing a little bit of research, I noted some oddities. Many of the blades had unnecessary bevels cut into the front and back of the blade. These serve really no other purpose than to lighten the blade. Others were hollow ground, which is also a very unusual choice for blades meant for hard chopping duty. Another problem with the chopping theory is the relation of the blade to your knuckles. Kitchen cleavers locate the blade way below your knuckles. The pocket cleavers do not. If I tried chopping something with this blade, I would need to make sure that the work was very close to the edge of my work surface. Otherwise, I'd be driving my knuckles into this kitchen counter and probably not doing much chopping. It is my professional opinion that this would be extremely unpleasant. Overall, if you compare these blades with the similarly sized, more conventional knives, I really wouldn't expect to see much advantage from the pocket cleavers over the other blades in terms of chopping. But upon an inspection of the differences between the two blades, we will come to see another potential reason to obtain a pocket cleaver. I want you to take a look at a picture of this Warncliffe knife. Now, look at this pocket cleaver. And after going back and forth between the two, this is how I see a pocket cleaver. That's right. Pocket cleavers are the safety scissors of knives. Pocket cleavers make use of the same straight or very slightly curved blade profile that worn cliffs and sheep's foot style blades use. Because of this, their cutting mechanics will pretty much be the same. The only real difference between a lot of pocket cleavers and Warncliffe's are the angle of the tip. Warncliffe has a very aggressive tip for penetration. Pocket cleavers, well, don't. That means that Warncliffe's have a few more uses than the pocket cleaver since it can thrust. 
I certainly wouldn't use a pocket cleaver for a defensive knife, for example. If you are looking for one of those, check out my video on selecting a defensive knife. Now with that said, a pocket cleaver is still capable of performing many day-to-day -day tasks, such as cutting an apple, sharpening a carpenter's pencil, cutting a rope, um, many other things without having to worry about an aggressive tip. As such, a pocket cleaver might make for a good first knife for a kid, be useful for skinning, or really any other cutting task where you do not want an acute tip. Additionally, a pocket cleaver may be better for carrying your knife in a restrictive environment and it will potentially get you fewer odd looks when you need to cut something in public. As long as you don't get a pocket cleaver that has been marketed as a tactical knife, it can come across as less threatening. After all, it is much harder to stab somebody with a knife when said knife doesn't have a point. So, if you are looking for something you are less likely to stab yourself with, and less likely to get harassed about carrying, I present to you the knife equivalent of safety scissors. Unlike safety scissors, pocket cleavers can look pretty awesome. Here are a couple of the knives that I found that I really liked. Let's be honest, a large chunk of the population will buy a knife because it looks cool and not care about functionality or cutting performance. And you know, that's perfectly fine. The reason why I selected this particular knife was because I liked the look of the knife with the pattern welded blade paired with the carbon fiber scales. And after having played with it for a little while, I can say that it's not a blade that I would carry on a day-to-day -day basis, but I am happy to have in my collection. If you like the look of a pocket cleaver, there really isn't any particular reason why you shouldn't get one. After all, at the end of the day, if you need to cut something, it has a sharp edge. But if you are looking for a more practical or functional knife, I would say you are probably better off looking for another knife. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I'm always working to put out more content, so let me know what you want to learn about. If I forgot something or I was flat out wrong, hit me up in the comments down below. I try to reply to everyone in a timely manner. So until next time, stay safe and keep living the knife life.